Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please inform me if you have any difficulty. Uh, today our topic is about uh, reasons to convert to Islam. And you know, I have many reasons, and especially me. I mean, I mean, oh boy. I don't know, even, I cannot even wait to tell you how many reasons. There is a lot, but I have to uh, shrink them because I might spend my life just telling you about reasons to convert us now. And uh, according to Allah teaching, this is not practical because Islam is a very practical religion. And we have to be very practical. You see, because Islam is practical, uh, it doesn't waste your time just doing prayer five times a day and you have to spend the 20 minutes before and 20 minutes after to prepare yourself for what's called a prayer. It doesn't waste your time that you spend the whole day doing nothing except drinking tea and coffee and praising Allah and this is supposedly the way of production. It doesn't waste your time sleeping a day and waking up at night for 30 days a year in the month of Ramadan. It doesn't waste your time. Absolutely not. So, because Islam is against wasting time, let us go for business. Why somebody should convert to Islam? Why? Hello? There is many reasons. Number one. I don't know if I start from number one or number five. Because in Islam, it doesn't matter what side, what side you take. Islam is balance. Always is balance. You take it from the right. You take it from the left. It doesn't matter. Islam like a bowl. To the point when you throw Islam in the ground, you don't hear a sound, normal sound. You hear like boing, boing, boing. And this is one of the boings we will see. The only prophet in the world who discovered that women, they have half a brain is the prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. Nobody... I mean, even science could not discover that. And Muhammad, he claimed that most of women, they will go to hell because they have lack of intellect and lack of religion. The deficiency of their religion and the, their, uh, <coughs> their brain is a proven. And the prophet here is debating with one Muslim woman. And he said to her, uh, she said to him, and what the deficiency uh, in her intelligence and religion, intellect and religion? He said, hey, 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 the testimony of two women among you is like testimony of one man. So Islam teaching that if you go to the court and there is one man, you need to bring two women to be equal to that witness. And not only that, uh, women are accepted only in cases of which is not important, like money. But in the case of murder or anything, no. Sorry, even if they are a million women. So Islam is a very logical belief. Guys, do you hear me or not? No voice? Why is that? <clears throat> I'm not sure. No sound. Maybe this is from YouTube. Mm. Well, maybe... <clears throat> I don't know, maybe some of you have a problem. Uh, guys, you don't, you don't hear, just go, leave. I, what I can do? I mean, just leave. Later you will hear it, and I think it's fine. Later, you can download the video and you can listen to it. All right? The one who don't hear, just leave. Take a hike. Take a bus. In the bus, you will hear it better. Now, listen. So the Prophet of Allah, he discovered that women, they are half a brain, and he is claiming that they have a deficiency in their religion because they have menstruation. I mean, look at this. That's a discovery. Because women, she have menstruation, she is not equal Muslim women to a Muslim man. And that is the reason, according to the Prophet, she will go to hellfire. Look at this. O oh, women, give a charity, for you are the majority of the people of the fire. Man, now I know why there is a guy in the movie, he said to her, or a girl he saw, he said to her, you are like a fire. Man, I never thought about it this way. 
the prophet he is so much observing and look he is saying to them give it charity look which means if you are you are going to go to the fire but if you give me money you would not I mean do you see how you can bribe God in Islam very 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 logical religion you will go to hellfire women but if you give a charity to the prophet in his pocket if you give him your earring and your gold and your silver <laughs> you might go to heaven okay yeah uh, and you are half a brain well obviously to be honest with you uh, those who want to give Muhammad their money they are half a brain if you believe him right now we continue so this is number one reason by the way as I remember I mean, when Muhammad, he says that the, the brain of a, Muslim, of a woman, she is half a brain and she have a bad memory and whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, if you go with your wife to a wedding party or dining, whatever, you know, occasion, and you come back and your children, they ask you what you ate, dad. You will not remember what you ate. But if they ask the mother, the mother, she will tell you what we ate, what they say, what the women they were dressing, what the perfume, what the earring, what the color of the hair, and what the color of the curtains and the couches. The husband who live in the house, he don't even remember the color of his couch. But according to Muhammad, women are stupid and half a brain. Hmm. Okay, so this is reason number one. This is reason number one. Maybe I need to adjust uh, the uh, the quality rate of the broadcast. I don't know. Maybe from your side, guys, you have a bad internet. Uh, before you watch my video, you should say, Inshallah, according to the logic of Muhammad, if you don't say, Inshallah, uh, it's not going to work. And this is why Suleiman, oh, sorry, uh, yeah, Suleiman, uh, uh, he had uh, sex with 99 uh, wife uh, and... Uh, he forgot to say inshallah and this is why Allah he gave him half child this is discovery my friend I mean how those billions of a human being they are having sex without saying shit inshallah and they have nice babies forget about it Muhammad he say things who care now we continue all right what else <clears throat> the Prophet is a scientist and his God Allah is a scientist and they knew everything I mean, anything concerning science, ask Allah. Anything, anything. And this is an example of the science of Allah, and we will share it with you, even if you don't deserve it. You guys are a bunch of kuffar, dirty, and uh, yuck. Yeah, especially you. Yeah, 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 the guys, you, take, take, your, take, your, take, your, take your finger from your nose. You see, I'm telling you, they are kuffar, they put their finger in their nose. The Prophet, he never said something disgusting. To do something disgusting, he is the only one who orders us to drink camel urine because it's tasty and yummy. Halal. Anyway, so here you will see. The Prophet is teaching us, as Allah taught him, how the baby is created. How the baby is created, the Prophet Muhammad. Dr. Muhammad, he answered, he says, that Allah, he... <coughs> <coughs> sorry because this is heavy duty science it's hard for me to 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 observe and to you are surprised at this where i i have heard allah messenger as saying when 42 night passes after the semen get into the womb allah send an angel and gives it a shape hmm. maybe here uh, i mean this story is not clear. What 40 days, 42 days after the semen get into the shoe? What, is, what does that mean? Let us see a different story. I mean, I don't understand. This is, I want more details, please. The prophet said, the prophet said, not me. Hmm? Verily, the creation of each of you is brought together in his mother womb for 40 days in the form of semen, not for. 40 days in the form of semen in the womb of your mother and by the way it doesn't say womb in Arabic it says botni ummihi which means the belly of his mother that makes sense yeah actually my dad he did not put semen in you know I mean he did it but he put it in his stomach hmm. so he put it in the botni ummi 40 days and you are a semen for 40 days brother how the prophet he knew this if he is not a prophet how the Prophet, he knew such a knowledge unless he is taught by Allah and Allah is the God of science as all of us we knew.
please don't use uh, the word, uh, you know, uh, behave in your language. You know, I'm being sarcastic, but I have my reasons. So look at this. How Muhammad can be a prophet and yet he says such a stupid thing? Did I say stupid? <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean it. <laughs> no way, the prophet, he never says something stupid. You know, there's the guy, you know, there's somebody will do jihad on me. It says, the creation of the human is gathered in the form of semen in the womb of your mother for 40 days. Brother, this is true. I remember. When me, myself, I was a semen, I was vacationing for 40 days in the belly of my mother. And if you don't believe me, I have a selfie. I mean, how in the world you say to me that there's no reason to convert to Islam after how the Prophet, he knew this. You see, remember, everything Muhammad, he says is from Allah. How Muhammad, he knew this if he is not a Prophet? Hello? I mean, what's wrong with you? No, for sure, if we ask Dr. Zakir Naik and he is a doctor, he will say to you, If the Prophet Muhammad is not a Prophet, how he knew that 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 a human being, he was a semen for more than 40 days in the belly of his mother. And actually, my mother and my father, when they had sexual intercourse, they told me that I was saying hello to them in the form of semen when I was 40 days old. And I was able to be as a semen to speak to them. And my father, he used to put his ear in the belly of my mother and he hear me speaking as a semen. Because at that time, for 40 days, I was a semen. Uh, uh, Dr. Seaman, uh, I mean, Dr. Zakir Naik, don't you think the story is too wide and large to be swallowed? Uh, exactly. Because you are a kafir and you can't understand. Okay. You know, I have a problem. I asked the scientist and they say that semen can live for a maximum of five days. Uh, five, five days, yeah. Five days. So what do you think, Dr. Zakir Naik, why they are saying that? Brother and sister, the scientists, they say that the semen can live only for five days. Those are not Muslim semen. Those are kuffar semen. We Muslim semen, we live for 40 days. It's proven to be accurate. Uh, so kuffar semen, they live only for five days? Yes, exactly. Because Allah, he cut your eyes and he make you die fatly. Oh, okay. You know what? I never thought about this. That makes sense. The Prophet was talking about Muslim men semen, not uh, Christian and Jews and Hindus and Buddhas and atheists. <laughs> There's no way to compare between those semen and those semen. Like even when you go to the grocery store, you will find two tomatoes. Each one of them have a price, different price, because it's different quality. And now we knew those, they live for long, 40 days. 40 days, this is mean like eight times more? Hmm. Uh, okay, so uh, forget about this. But the Quran claim that we are created in the form of a congealed dead blood after we wear semen. Have you ever heard of somebody believe that I was a semen and then the semen transformed to a thick congealed dead blood? How you explain that to us, Dr. Zach and I? Hey, brother and sister, I didn't know I'm a doctor. And I finished a degree from the most highest university in the world. It's in Bangladesh. Yes, nobody knows the university name because it's not a, uh, you know, expensive university. But I got a degree from the very highest uh, 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 school in the world. And I discover that yes, after the sperm entered to the mother, right away after 40 days, he became a clot of a blood. And that's example. If you punch somebody in his belly, he might bleed and the blood come out. That means he is pregnant. Mm. I don't know, I'm speechless. I mean, I'm going to convert to Islam anyway. How Allah, he knew this man? How Allah, he discovered that the sperm became a blood? That's amazing. So I was a sperm, then I became a blood. What a bloody me. Huh. I was a blood man. So if my mom take me out earlier... I will be like walking now as a blood. <laughs> That's fun. So, and then, like, brother, this is too much knowledge. This is too much knowledge. Very, very powerful. And then we go in the Quran and we find more stories, which is uh, 
like Allah, he discovered that the sun set in a dark, muddy, hot spring of water. Now the Muslim, they say, no, 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 no. Allah is not saying that. He is saying that the guy there, he thought, uh, I didn't see the word thought there. It says he found it. And he found it sitting. Not he thought. And it's not in the ocean as you lie to us and you say it appears sitting in the ocean. Like, brother, you see the sun sitting in the ocean. Don't you think the sun is going in the ocean? It doesn't even say an ocean. It says a spring of a blood, a black, muddy, hot water. However, the Muslims desperately, they try to defend the stupidity of the verse in the Quran. Uh, but their prophet, he is not helping them. So we went to Prophet Muhammad and we find him saying the following. Get in the Abdul Bastid. I was sitting behind Messenger of Allah, S-A-W-S. This is like a shortwave radio, like something, you know, you guys, you don't understand. Who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting? He asked, do you know? Do you know? I, I like it when the Prophet, he said this, do you know? The second he said, do you know? It's mean a disaster is coming. That's it. Muhammad says, "He, do you know? So, do you know? Where this set, which means the sun, the guy he said that <clears throat> a prophet, Allah and his messenger knows best. And here you notice how Muslims they associate the knowledge of their God with the knowledge of a man. For they are mushrikeen, they are kuffar. You see, they say to the Christians, you are mushrik, you associate Jesus with God. But nobody associate man with God as much as the Muslims. To the point they associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of Muhammad. So they say, Allah and his apostle know best. Who knows best? Two. Allah and his apostle. And now Muhammad, he doesn't say, don't say that. This is my private opinion. No, he agreed. So he said, it's set in a spring of warm, hot water. Brother. If the prophet, he is not a prophet, how he knew this? I mean, we have to think and we have to meditate. Let us do some yoga. Please sit in your bum. Put your hand together. And focus in the sun, in the sun setting time. Imagine yourself riding a donkey. And there's a guy next to you. His name is Abu Dhar. And Abu Dhar is asking you a question. Brother, do you know where the sun set, brother? Now close your eyes and breathe. And the revelation of Allah will come to you. And the knowledge will give birth to knowledge. Your belly is getting bigger and bigger. And bigger stop don't fart and now open your mouth and let it go and you will say it's set in a spring of muddy hot water how beautiful how wonderful hold on I need to say Shahada I witness that there is no God but the God who believed that the Sun set a muddy water I mean, how Allah, he knew this and how the prophet who his, his knowledge and the knowledge of Allah knows best, how he knew this. Is it obviously clear that this is God? It's obvious. Forget about this. <coughs> I mean, who care for those stuff anyway? Allah, he made a mistake. So what? All of us, we make mistakes. How many of you did not make a mistake? Didn't you, 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 the guy there, didn't you in the other day, you give a, a, a sign in the, in the, in, to, do, to go in the left side and then you went in the right side when you are driving? Hello? We have to be realistic here. But remember, Allah and his messengers knows best. Very true. Okay. By the way, I'm not talking about you if you are... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, an Arab like me driving in the highway because we are Arab, we don't do that. We don't give a sign at all. Anyway, so 
the sun set in murky water, and this is very proven to be true. And uh, you know, any scientist he disagree. I mean, <laughs> we will find him. We will find his home. We will find where he live. I mean, okay. Now we go to the second topic. Uh, Islam is a peaceful religion. Islam, brother, is a peaceful religion. Islam give balance. I mean, forget about the guy who was stabbing people in the street yesterday in England. This guy, he don't present Islam, brother. This guy is just a terrorist. A disgusting terrorist. The Prophet, he taught peace. The Prophet of Allah, he said to the Muhammadan, you are the true Muslim. The best of mankind ever reigned for, uh, forever for mankind. Chapter 3, verse 110 in the Quran. But how the Muslims are the best for mankind? And what does that mean? The best of mankind, what does that mean exactly? He explained. Means the best of the people for the people as bring them with the chains around their necks till they embrace Islam. How beautiful. How beautiful and how peaceful. Hold on. I want to do yoga again. Sit please, brothers. Sit in your bum, brother, all of you. Close your eyes, brother. And imagine a peaceful follower of Muhammad accepting Islam and coming to practice Islam, brother. And they put a chain around your neck, brother. And that because Islam teach him peace, brother. And Islam is not a fascist cult saying that its Muslims are the best of mankind and the rest like dogs will put a chain around their neck. Is it me saying that? I'm showing you the reference, my friend. This is a fascist cult. This is a fascist, this is Nazi, this is what if fascism is about, that we are the best and the, the rest they die, the rest they are dogs, the rest they are, we would, you know, and the, the funny they say to you, Islam is against slavery. Putting chains around the necks of people and you are against slavery, how is that? It must be true claim. How many reasons I gave until now to convert to Islam? Did I make them five? So the prophet, he claimed that women, they are half a brain. Uh, the prophet is a doctor. He claimed that the baby, uh, we wear sperm for 40 days uh, and we wear a congealed blood. And uh, the, uh, Islam is a religion of uh, peace for sure. And like forget about Islam uh, saying in chapter 9 verse 29, kill the Christian and the Jews. I mean, yeah, I mean, we deserve to be killed. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, hold on. Islam is very logical. Islam is very, very logical. I saw an article saying Islam is the only religion is logical. I don't know. It sounds true. How we can prove that? Hmm. Let us see. How logical Islam is. Islam is the only religion speaking about something beautiful and logical. Very logical. A brother. Let us, let us be honest together. And as you see, all the, the this page is everything there is Islamic, you know, nothing nothing of my own, so don't blame me for what you will see. Allah is the only God who promised men, women with big boobs. Oh boy. I feel I need to go now. The second I speak about boobs, I feel like I'm going to, uh, <clears throat> I'm thirsty. Where is the water? Oh boy, this is very logical. This is the only God who promised us which we believe in him. He will give us big boobs. Not us, I mean women, the women, we will be with them. <laughs> I mean, come on. Big boobs? The booby God? So beautiful. So nice, so wonderful. Allah, I cannot be more thankful than this, man. I mean, look, he knew the needs of men. 
Me myself, I practice boxing, so I needed two big balloons to do boom, 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 I mean, it's wonderful. Or maybe if a flood happened, the boobs of my women, they can help us to float in the top of the water. They are so huge. This is God. This is the true God. Oh, and not only that. Look, 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 look. We will have next to the big boobs garden full of a grape. Makes sense. I mean, what is what is missing? We have big boobs. What is missing? What is missing? A grape. And then a cup full of wine. Party, party. Party, party. Where you go? Muhammad brought big boobs for you. Party, party. I like you. Your boobs is so huge. You oof, mean. Oof, 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 oof. I cannot wait to convert to Islam, brother. I cannot wait. And not only that, the brother, by the way, if you don't like those translation, I mean, this is Islamic translation, don't blame me. You can change the translation to any translator you wish. I mean, seriously. Hello? This is your translation. Now, Allah is the only God who describe for us what is inside <coughs> how beautiful I cannot read it because I am illiterate have you ever heard of a God he described for you what is inside that thing this guy, he don't stay outside in the frame. He go inside. Like take a peek. Peeky, peeky. Hey, brother, is it a close or open, brother? Hey, brother, look at me. I'm, I'm examining right now, brother. Let me take a picture. Hey, brother, give me the good news, brother. Is it a close? Hey, brother, until now, there's no bubbles coming, brother. What? This is God? He promised me such a... <clears throat> I'm really, really convinced. And he said to them, after he told them about the private part of the women, what is inside it and how it looked like, he told them, in which, in which of the blessing of your Lord you will both deny? Huh? What's wrong with you? I mean, how you can deny your Lord? Hmm. Right. Uh, a Muslim saying there is nothing wrong with men liking women. You see, this is a stupid argument. He is not talking about women. He's talking about their private part and what is inside it. He's talking about women or he's talking about big boobs. So your God, he did not speak about love. He is speaking about lust. If your God really, he care for love, man and women together, then he will say one man, the same as God, he created Adam and Eve. But as you see, God, he is saying to you, your God, I will give you women with big boobs. You don't even know who they are. They are just made for sex. And he is not even talking how nice they are. He is talking how big their boobs and what is inside their private part. So your God is not talking about women. He's talking about sexual women. He did not see in the women anything as a human. He created those women just for sex. Right? The word between bracket, are you lying? My friend, it's not between the bracket. This is you being a stupid. I am, Arabic is my first language. Yat muthahunna, he is telling you. You see, he wrote the word for you in, in, in the English letters, you idiot. This is why he put it between two brackets because he kept the word as it is. So between two brackets is the meaning. You see, he did not translate the word. Yatmuthahunna. This is the word in Arabic. Yatmuthahunna is to put your hum <coughs> hum inside the hum <coughs> hum and break the hum <coughs> hum. And you are telling me, don't you see this? Don't you see, brother, there are two brackets. Don't you think there's two brackets, brother? 
idiot. He did not translate the word. It's in front of you. Yatmuthahunna. This is not English. Potato, potato. Potato, potato, potato. Potato, potato, potato. Potato, potato, potato. Potato, potato, potato. And then, and then the skin. And then we burn it in. I mean, supposedly this guy, he got me busted. Christian Brands, does it say between two bracket? They have a very high IQ. Extreme. Brother. <laughs> uh, my friend, my friend, just just go. Go in peace. Let me block you. Let me block you because I have no time for kids. First of all, don't debate me, you idiot. Debate the Muslim who wrote this, you donkey. The donkey is you because this is your website and this is your Muslim translation. And yet you are calling me donkey. I did not even translate anything for you. I'm reading what you Muslims wrote. Secondly, the word in Arabic, Yatmuthahun. It's simply speaking about you penetrate inside the women's private part and breaking the skin. As simple as that. And this is why he put it for you between two brackets. Because he put the word there, Yatmuthahun. And then he put between two brackets. This is the meaning. And by the way, don't insult donkeys. Donkeys are smarter than this. Hmm. What else? Me. And those women, they are white. Like ruby and coral. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. How white those women are. I mean, how white? Let me show you how white. And I'm sure you will convert to Islam after you see. You know, Arab are racist. They like white women. They don't like any other color. Sorry to say. But uh, let us show you. How white those women, the Prophet of Allah, he described for us, that they are so white to the point we will see the marrow of their bones. And the brother, who in the world don't like marrow of bones? Have you ever seen of anyone, anyone, any man, he don't like marrow of bones? And the Muslim Abdul, he will say to me, hey, the two bracket, there's no two bracket. Your prophet saying that those women, they are so pure, so beautiful, to the point they are so white. And not only that, the first group of Muslims into paradise, Allah will make them so bright white too. You see? The first, you will be like the moon, brother. And then those women, they are so white to the point you can see through. They are transparent. I like transparent women. Brother, in, the Allah, in Allah heaven, there's nobody can eat your hamburger and get away with it. Because you will be able to see what inside her belly. Brother, the old days when your wife, she can hide the credit card in her bra is over. Because she is transparent. Brother, the day where your wife can hide your remote control from you by sitting in the top of it. So you will not open the TV. Is gone, brother. For now, she is a transparent. A brother and sister. This is what Allah will give us in the heaven. Wow. Wow. So beautiful. Very nice. Very sexy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I have to go. I cannot continue. By the way, how many reasons I gave you to convert to Islam? Did we complete the five or yet? Not yet. This is God. And this is religion. How this is going to be God? And how this is going to be a prophet? 
and that how this is can be a promise from God and by the way what if I like to have a black woman I like black women what's wrong with them why all the women in the heaven they will be there's no Asian there's no black there's only white women and they are so white to the point we see through their skin and their bones why she is a jellyfish Oh, uh, somebody reminded me, T.M. Cross, he is reminding me that I forgot something. All right. You are, thank you, man. How you know? Yeah, he, he, he remind me, he's saying, uh, CP, uh, let me show you what he said. The, the, the new software we are using, we cannot, uh, we cannot uh, put the comment in the top, but we can uh, freeze it and point at it. Here we go. He said, the semen last 40 days in the womb was proceeding <laughs> my friend no you are wrong uh, the the semen according to the Quran come from the backbone of the man let me prove it to you the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women uh, give me a second please I want to call my consultant Prophet Muhammad and uh, <clears throat> He will show us that with the proofs and reference. We don't like to show you anything unless we have reference and proof for the science of Allah. You know, this is a very, uh, very, uh, uh, it's a proven, it's true. And uh, I mean, who can deny that? Only uh, ignorance can deny this. Only, only. You know, uh, let us see here. If we go to chapter, I will put it for you on the screen. Give me a second. I'm just opening Ibn Kathir. Uh, because Muslim, they might say it doesn't say that. You know, you know the game. Okay, chapter 6. All right, here we go. This is the book of Ibn Kathir. And uh, again, this is not my translation. This is not my website. This is not me explaining the Quran. This is your writing, your printing, your publishing, and your scholar. Ibn Kathir, chapter 86, verse 1 to 10. Here Allah, he explained to us how the baby is created. It come, the sperm come from the back bone of the man and the ribs of the women. How Allah, he knew that? How he knew that? Those a Christian, they keep saying to you, Allah is not God. If Allah is not God, how he knew that the sperm come from the backbone of them? And my backbone is hurting. Because to the, yesterday I made a, 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 a sperm donation. Hmm? True story. Look like we are losing connection, are we? Um, later, I will change the setup for uh, the broadcast so we can have better, more smooth. Anyway, guys, I think this is enough for today. Otherwise, there's endless reasons for us to accept Islam. And I cannot stop. Allah is the only God who discover that Women have a sperm and it's coming from their ribs. How Allah he knew that? How he knew that? Hmm? Women, they have a breast testicles. The backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, which referring to her chest. So women breast is not a breast, they are testicles. And we men, we are fool. We thought they are breast all those years. What a shame. What a shame. We were confused and they lied to us. They told us that women, they have a breast. It turned not to be breast. They are testicles, big ones. It turned to be that women testicles are bigger than men testicles. Way bigger, man. What we cannot compare. This is so beautiful. 
Anyway, don't forget to download the video. We are going to finish for now. I might go later at night, which is going to be early morning in Indonesia. It's going to be night in USA. Let us say maybe 9 p.m. New York time, maybe. All right. Do you like me to come back, guys? Do you like me to come back or you are bored of me? I think I am bored of myself, too. I will be back as a Muslim. I'm telling you, after I saw this, I cannot resist. You know? This is so beautiful. You know? Now I understand why once in the movie, a woman, she said, I have balls to say it. I was listening, like, how she is saying she has balls to say it. What she mean? She has balls to say it. She has balls to say it. Huh. But now, now the Quran opened my eyes. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Islam, brother, open your eyes to science, to logic. It's clear. It's clear like light. Thank you, Allah, for the mercy and the knowledge and the science which come in no college. No college will teach you as Allah teaching. Very pure science. Pure as a pure. So, I will hope I will be back soon. Don't forget to... Uh, Give us a like if you like us. And don't forget to give us dislike if you don't like us, please. And if you are a subscriber, don't forget to unsubscribe and subscribe again. Because according to the logic of Allah, Allah will double your reward. <laughs> this is a different story, which is very funny. I will tell you about it later, if later is coming. Thank you very much for the Lord, you know, provide us with having all those great people. Thank you. Lord, that we are not blind and we are not foolish and we are not stupid. Thank you, Lord, that we are not a bunch of idiots who they are driven by desire of sex to believe in such a God who have nothing except sex and sex and sex. Thank you, Lord, that we don't want to have the slaves in heaven as the Quran promised us. Thank you, Lord. That your heaven is nothing like this. Where there is every Muslim will have 80,000 little children just to serve him. With no shame. Even boys in heaven, they are little children, they are slaves. Eighty thousand little boy. For the bad Muslim. Not the good Muslim. The good Muslim will have more, more, way more. How this is can be from God? Even slavery in heaven. And what kind of a human being will enjoy enslaving 80,000 little child to do what exactly for him? And enslaving 72 women, this is only for the lowest Muslim. Which means the higher you go, the number will go crazy. The 80,000 boy will be 80 millions or 80 billions. This is nothing but a disgusting, stupid cult. This is a religion made by a dummy for the dummies. So are you a dummy? I am not. Thank you for being here. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we'll see you soon again. Don't forget to download the video, please. I hope to see you today at night. If I can, you will see an uh, announcement so we can go for it. Thank you, and God bless you. Take care.